My name is Andrew Teverson. I'm Director of Studies for English Literature and Creative Writing at Kingston University. I did my BA degree in English Literature and Philosophy at Durham University. And when I graduated, I did an MA at Durham University too. And then I moved to London and I did a PhD in English Literature at Goldsmiths College. Uh, I then taught at Goldsmiths College and ran their, ran their external degree for London University for a few years. Um, and then I came to Kingston where I taught first of all as a, um, as a lecturer, then as a principal lecturer and, and now director of studies. Uh, my research specialism is primarily in the field of post-colonial studies and fairy tale studies. Um, so I do a lot of comparative work in which I compare, um, in which I look at how popular traditional narratives have traveled as a result of colonial um, political developments and how popular stories change and transform in the course of being shared uh, as a result of uh, Im imperial, um, uh, imperial movements uh, around the globe. We have an undergraduate BA uh, honours degree in English literature which you can take full field um, which means you'd effectively take all of your modules in the subject of English literature. Um, and you can also take your BA in English Literature half field with other subjects such as uh, Media and Cultural Studies or English Language and Communication um, or Business Studies or uh, any number of combinations that we offer. Um, we also run uh, an MA in English Literature um, and you take the MA, I, I, we only run it as a full field option. Um, the MA consists of a core uh, study skills module uh, in which students are trained in the kind of skills that you'd need as a researcher in English. Uh, so students are given basic training in academic writing skills, um, in referencing and research skills, in archive retrieval and information gathering skills, and all of this is designed uh, to support a student's writing of the dissertation at the end of their MA. Uh, dissertations are supported by uh, a supervisor who's a, who will be an expert in the field in which the student is uh, hoping to write their dissertation thesis. If a student were to come and study for a PhD at Kingston University, first of all they'd submit their proposal, we'd consider the student's proposal and we would decide whether or not we had the expertise to, uh, to, to supervise that dissertation. Uh, we have a wide range of expertises within the department, within the course team uh, at Kingston. Um, so uh, we could cover quite a few specialist subjects in the field of English literature. Um, we have, for instance, specialisms in 18th century literature, uh, particularly literature re relating to uh, slavery uh, and anti-slavery movements. Um, we have specialisms in the subject of Jane Austen uh, and romantic poets and romantic novelists. Um, we have a very strong specialism in Kingston in the field of uh, early modern studies, um, particularly early modern representation, not just literary representation, but also representation in the fine arts and the connection between fine arts and literary studies. Um, we have at Kingston the Iris Mur Murdoch centre, um, uh, which includes an archive uh, in which is collected a number of Iris Murdoch's letters, uh, works by Murdoch, um, and other kinds of material related to Iris Murdoch studies. Um, so we particularly welcome uh, applications to study for PhDs in that area, uh, particularly for um, PhD students who are also interested in archival research. Uh, we have other specialisms in um, the study of folklore and fairy tale, which is my own particular specialism, the history of fairy tale, the way traditional narratives have travelled, um, and the relationship between traditional narratives and, and society and culture. Um, we have specialisms in the field of post-colonial studies. Uh, we have two scholars in the department uh, working on Salman Rushdie, uh, a writer, and publishing on Salman Rushdie, a writer. Um, and more broadly, looking at world writing in English, writing from India, from the Caribbean, from Africa, uh, and 
generally from around the globe. Very dynamic department at Kingston. All of the scholars who study and teach at Kingston on the degree are published uh, researchers in their field. Um, so the primary thing that we'd offer students uh, is expertise in particular fields of study. Um, so if you're being taught on a, on a particular programme, postgraduate or undergraduate, you're invariably being taught by someone who's also researching in, in that field, um, conducting cutting-edge research in that field, and scholars' research expertise feeds into and supports teaching. We're also a very strong team of scholars. We work together to devise modules that are innovative, that use a range of different kinds of assessment, um, and that um, try to deliver uh, a very solid grounding for students in the areas of uh, the subject areas they'll be studying, but that also introduce sort of newer theories, newer ideas about the subject matter they'll be studying. Um, we use various forms of team teaching, so we support each other in the classroom as well. Um, and uh, modules are always taught in, I think, a dynamic and engaged way. The great thing about a degree in English literature is that it gives you a range of transferable skills that are useful in any number of um, working environments, but at the same time it doesn't um, tie you into a particular career path. Um, our students who graduate in English literature go on to a wide range of different careers. Predominantly, they will go into uh, teaching careers and careers in further research. Um, we get a number of students who go into arts management um, and exhibition management, curatorships. Uh, we have students who go to work on magazines as editors. Um, we have a lot of students who are interested in um, new forms of transmission of text, particularly through the internet. Um, uh, students interested in new media and in how new media can um, offer, new media can help with the transmission of writing in, in new ways that haven't been traditionally used by publishers. Um, we also have students who go into the police force, into the army, um, we have students who do law, law conversion courses and go on to study law yeah. after they leave uh, uh, English literature at Kingston. Um, we have students who go into writing. A lot of our students are doing creative writing in English literature as a joint subject of study. Um, and many of those go on to pursue writing in, in diverse forms, not just as published novelists or poets, but also as copywriters and advertising. Um, English literature gives you some solid transferable skills that are useful in uh, a number of career paths, including um, skills in communication, skills in the manipulation and interpretation of large amounts of information, uh, skills in teamwork and in oral as well as written communication. Um, English literature and creative writing too, uh, I think, also give you the invaluable skill of being able to think around problems in creative ways. Um, so, whereas a business studies degree might uh, give you particular ways of analysing a problem, um, English literature degrees also give you ways of analysing problems, but they encourage creative thinking around problems. Uh, and I think uh, employers, particularly in Britain, uh, value that and recognise that as a value of studying English at, at university level.